Well, will he, won't he? Well, he eventually did today. The street has been abuzz with Vedanta's promoters looking to sell some stake and that did happen this morning. Now, Vedanta resources confirmed that they did sell 2.5% stake in the company today and this was done to deleverage the balance sheet and to fund strategic growth initiatives. But that was not the entire deal. It was much larger. The 4.8% equity had changed hands in multiple blocks valued at close to 8,000 crore rupees. The average selling price was 400 40 rupees a share and based on that if the promoters have sold a 2.6% stake they could have pocketed a cool 4,400 crore rupees. Now interestingly this comes just a week after Vedanta Group Chairman Anil Agarwal told CNBC TV 18 that there is no such plan to bring the stake down from the then current levels of 61.95%. Of course, he left a caveat in that statement and he stated that if an investment banker comes and gives an idea, they'll work on it. And so they did. Now, this isn't the first time that promoters of Vedanta have sold their stake. Over the last 18 months, they've sold nearly 10% of their overall equity. Now, starting December of 2022, when the promoter holding in Vedanta was just under 70%. Now, if we take today's sale into account, that figure will now drop to sub 60%. Now, in August of last year, the promoter Twinstar had sold a 4.1% stake and pocketed nearly 4,000 crore rupees. And just earlier this year, Finsider International, the same entity that sold stake today, had sold close to 2% stake for just over 1,700 crore rupees. Now, based on these three stake sales in the last 18 months, promoters of Vedanta have raised over 10,000 crore rupees from the Indian entity, and that is excluding the generous dividend payouts. Now, for some throwback, just to jog your memory back to October of 2020, Vedanta's promoters wanted to delist the stock. Now, pro the proposal was to acquire majority stake from public shareholders at a price of 87.5 rupees a share. But on the 9th of October 2020, the delisting failed. Why? Because it could not get the required number of shares needed for the delisting to be successful. Now, interestingly, while the delisting price was 87.5 rupees, majority of the bids were placed at 320 rupees a share for that delisting. Now, even from those levels of 320, the stock is up almost 40%. Now, how has the stock done since that failed delisting? Now, between October to December itself, the stock rose 18%. I'm talking about October to December of 2020. Now, benefiting from the commodity upcycle, the stock doubled in 2021, rising over 111%. And after two years of negative returns in 22 and 23, the stock is already up 70% so far this year. Analysts too have started to warm up to the stock. Now in just nine months, the number of sell recommendations on the stock have come down from 42% in September of last year to just 7% currently. So that's Vedanta for you. From a failed delisting attempt at 87 rupees to selling shares at 5x that price, it's been quite a journey so far.